Hi groovy people! So glad that you're here with me today again! Another week of fun times together on the internet! Today is gonna be a fun video because it's gonna be a video where I basically just spit out facts about me and you get to, I guess, know me a little bit better. So I figured I would do 50 weird facts about me, which is a lot of facts, so I need to really just like pump out the facts. I'm not gonna harp on these people with their Lamborghinis. Disgusting. Anyway, we're not gonna harp on each and every detail that I'm going to disclose about myself because that would be way too long of a video and I'm trying to get you guys to watch the whole video in its entirety. I see you out there, people that are only watching for three minutes, four minutes, before we get started, I just want to say that I'm really, really trying so very hard to grow this channel and grow a community of people. It's not about me making money, it's not about me being famous or anything like that. I swear to God, all I want in life is to grow a community and to lead a group of people and just connect with people. So please, if you have it in your heart to subscribe, please, please, please do. I want to get to a thousand by the end of the year, man. So please, please subscribe to me and join my little virtual hippie commune. Please. All right, let's just get into it. You ready? You ready to learn about me a little bit more? Here we go. Number one, I was born at 2.30 in the morning on a Saturday night or Friday morning, whatever you consider that. I just realized I said a Saturday night, Friday morning. What? Saturday morning, Friday night, okay? I'm a dumb bitch. Number two. I'm Greek by blood, but I'm really not a fan of olives. So basically, I'm a bad Greek. Number three. I was homeschooled for most of middle school, and it was one of the most loveliest times ever. Four. I used to, up until I was about 20 years old, dress only in black. I would despise color so much, and then I took one course, a color theory kind of course, in college, and that changed my life. I saw beautiful colors for the first time, and then I just gradually became a more colorful person. Number five. I studied art and design, not at an art and design school, but at an engineering school. So try to figure that one out. Number six. My ex-boyfriend gifted me a rabbit years ago, and she's still around, and now I'm stuck with her. Isn't that right, Dee? You're a pain in my ass, Dee You're a pain in my ass. Number seven. I have always lived in New York City, born and raised in New York City, but I absolutely despise New York City now, and I don't want to live here anymore, and I want to live isolated somewhere in the woods. I just want to get the hell out of here. I just want to get out. I want to live in Woodstock, man. I want to live in Woodstock. Number eight. As of yesterday, I've been sober from drinking 10 weeks already. 10 weeks of not drinking. And yesterday I went to a wedding too, which was a big test of my sobriety. I didn't cave, man. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Number nine. My lungs can't handle smoking. Um, can I say without getting like some sort of YouTube punishment. My lungs can't handle smoking it, but I really do love it. And I like having the edible version of that substance. So I'm not a stoner, but I kind of am because I'm an edibler. Would you consider a stoner someone that eats edibles? If so, then that's me. Number 10. I've been making YouTube videos, believe it or not, on and off for the past 11 years. Yes, 11 years ago I started, like Shane Dawson era YouTube. And actually one of my videos from back in the day actually hit like 24k views, which is a lot of views for me. It's such a bad video. I'm so embarrassed by it. You'll never know my past YouTube channel. I will never tell you, but if you do some digging, you may find them. Number 11. I'm a huge Nine Inch Nails fan, which seems pretty off-brand for me, but I love Trent Reznor. I think he's a great songwriter, and I just love him. Man, I gotta go faster. Jesus Christ. 
list. Number 12. I absolutely am obsessed with true crime, especially serial killings, especially serial killers, especially Manson, and more especially Bundy. Boom. Number 13, if I were to go to grad school, I would probably go to study either philosophy, some sort of writing, or something related to forensics. And number 14, I have been into ASMR since before ASMR was even like a thing. I always got tingles from videos that were like soft spoken and I was so intrigued by what ASMR was when I first found out about it years and years ago and everyone thought I was a nut and now everyone is on YouTube doing this. Is this ASMR? Is that giving you tingles? No. Like this video, by the way, if you think I should make some ASMR videos, because I think I would be pretty good at it. Number 15. 15. 15. I don't drive yet. I've never gotten my permit, never got my license, but come November 5th, I am going to get my permit. I'm going to take the test. I'm going to pass it, and I'm going to get my permit. And everybody should get off the road, because I'll be on it. I was valedictorian in high school, and when I graduated NYU, I graduated summa cum laude, which means top 5% of the entire graduating class. So in other words, I like to crush the competition. Whoa! 17. I hate Mayor Bill de Blasio. 18. I just registered to vote. Oh, like a few months ago and I registered as an independent. You know why? Because the Republicans pissed me off and the Democrats pissed me off. So here I am. Number 19. I'm a huge RuPaul's Drag Race fan, supporter, lover. I love everything about drag. The culture, the people, the characters. Just love, love, love drag. Love drag. Number 20. I've been best friends with my best friend since third grade. The one I won. I've never moved out of my house except for when I dormed one year but I don't really count that but I've never left this house. We've never moved. I've only lived in one house my entire life. 22. I am $20,000 in debt because of school. Pay off your loans kids. That shit's no joke. Number 23. I'm not really a breakfast kind of person. Don't really like sweet foods like that. I like savory stuff. And I like lunch better than breakfast. 24. I love surprises, surprise parties, all that stuff. I think I've had one surprise birthday party in my life, but I'm so down to have more. So all the people that are in my group of friends and loved ones, you gotta have to throw me a surprise party next year. I'll be waiting for it. It defeats the whole purpose, but whatever. Number 25. Halloween and Christmas are tied for my favorite holiday. Number 26. I cannot leave the house without my headphones. And no, I'm not an AirPods gang kind of person. AirPods can suck my number 27. Oh Jesus. I think my next vacation is going to be to Egypt. So wait on that. Number 28. <laughs> my favorite movie of all time is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Since I was a toddler, it's been my favorite movie ever. 29. This nose right here, take a look, take a look. It cost me $4,000. <laughs> I love rodents, like especially as pets, like rats and mice and things. I love them. I think they're so cute. 31! I am a cat person, but that doesn't mean that I don't like dogs, because I do enjoy dogs, but I prefer cats over dogs. Don't get it twisted. 32! This is a very strange one. I follow a lot of YouTubers that are either doctors or med students, which is so weird because I have no inclination to become a doctor or a med student, but I think it's so interesting and insightful and I don't know, I find it entertaining and educational at the same time. 33! I believe in holistic medicine, but I do believe there's a time and place for like regular pharmaceuticals, but I do think that holistic medicine is a good, at the very least, supplement to pharmaceuticals and like modern medicine. There's a fine line, so don't think I'm an anti-vaxxer or anything like that, because I'm really not, but I do think that holistic medicine should be considered for certain illnesses. 34! 
Uh, you probably already know this from watching my other videos, if you have watched my other videos, but I have a very strong attachment to the late 60s, early 70s, like that's just my era. I love everything about it, the clothing, the colors, the music, the culture. I think it's where I lived in my past life. I think my past life, I lived through the late 60s, early 70s, and then I died, and then I was reincarnated into my life now, which started in 1997. 35! I believe in reincarnation, but I also believe in the heaven. It's complicated. 36! I believe in all religions. It's complicated. 37. Officially, I'm a Gen Z, but I do not relate to Gen Z at all. And case in point, I cannot figure out TikTok for the life of me, which is a good thing, I guess, because it's gone at this point. I don't even know. 38. One of my life dreams is to buy a 70s VW bus and just like convert it into a livable van and just drive around the town in my VW bus, living my life, living in my van. 39. I once was fired from a job <laughs> before my first shift. Like I didn't even show up for my first shift and I already was fired. 40. I know a lot of people, but I'm really not close to many people at all. Like, I only have three friends, if that. <laughs> Number... Oh, jeez, that was my phone, 41. I actually am one of the very few people that enjoy going to the dentist. Yeah, I do, I do. It's good. Number 42. My favorite music artist of all time is the Beatles. Very cliche, very predictable, but um, truth. Number 43, I have one tattoo, and I'll show it to you right now. There she is, it's my little yellow submarine. I got it in Woodstock last year. I want so many more, it's crazy. I want like a whole sleeve, but we're working on that. 44, I only have my ears pierced, just one piercing. Right here, no other piercings. So I'm into tattoos, but I'm not really into piercings like that. Number 45, Crash Bandicoot is one of my favorite video games of all time. When they redid the whole franchise, ooh, I was so hyped. And they're coming out with a fourth one now, which is really exciting. We're down to the last five. Well, the last 46 ones. Yeah, last five. Number 46. I wish I was, but unfortunately, I am so not artistically inclined, like in terms of drawing or painting. I so wish that I had that ability, but I don't at all. If anything, I have like a gift for graphic design and like design in general, but not art. Just don't have it in me. Number 47. I'm a child of divorce, so. I got some childhood trauma to unpack on this one, on this channel. <laughs> Number 48. I'm not a natural, well, I'm kind of a natural blonde. This is my natural color, but I get my hair dyed to be even blonder. I used to have black hair at one point and that was such a bad look for me. I'm so glad I'm past that phase. I like being a blonde now. Blondes do have more fun. Number 49. I don't look like this, naturally. I've gotten two plastic surgeries on my face, which you know about the nose one from the other fun fact, but I also got a jaw surgery done and that completely changed the way I look. So if you were to clone me, we wouldn't look identical. So that's fun. So you would be able to know which one's my clone. And you're ready for this one? You're ready for this one? I have given my DNA voluntarily. Actually, I paid them to give them my DNA to both 23andMe and Ancestry. And 23andMe got bought by Google. So basically, Google has my DNA. And if they want to clone me or frame me for murder or do whatever the hell they want with my DNA, technically, I don't own my DNA anymore. And they do. We'll just see what happens with that <laughs> over time. That's it, that's 50. We did it, we did it. Was that eye-opening for you? Did you learn more about me and fall in love with me a little bit more? I hope you did. That there was 50 weird facts about me. Fun facts, strange facts, gross, perhaps? No, can't be. There's nothing gross about Lene D. She's just beautiful and perfect in every way. <laughs> just kidding, she sucks. Number 51, I hate myself. Just 
just kidding. All right, everyone. Well, <laughs> you gonna give me a hug? Come on, let me give you a hug. All right, thank you. Oh, that's nice of you. <sighs> You're just so nice. All right, okay, you kind of, you kind of hugged me a little bit too long there. Well, I have some place to be. It's 1.53 on a Monday. I'm unemployed still and uh, I'm trying my hand at YouTube. Got so many things to do. <laughs> All right, well, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.